Hi, ladies and gents of YouTube. We're reacting to a Trees video. This is why you don't make Luka Doncic angry. Shout out Trees. Shout out Luka. I think this might have something to do with France and Luka absolutely obliterating them. But let's see what this video has got to offer. One thing that I've come to find out about Luka Doncic over the years is that this man holds grudges. Back in the Tokyo Summer Olympics of 2021, Team Slovenia was rolling through the tournament. And in the eyes of many, they look like the favorites to take home gold. Favorites? Including the placement game, Slovenia started out 8-0. Really? They were the favorites? Making all the way to the semifinals. That's where when Luka dropped 48 that game. Yet. A stacked France team was the only thing between Slovenia and the gold medal game. However, Luka would have arguably his most disappointing scoring night of the tournament. Oh, I think I remember this. Going 5 of 18 this. from the floor for 16 points. Yeah, he tweaked. France would then win the game by one point, and Slovenia finished in fourth place in the Olympics. Zoom ahead to next summer in 2022, and Luka Doncic has the best scoring game in the last 65 years of the Eurobasket tournament. And you guessed it, that came against France. Yes, sir! This time around, the tensions were extremely high. Early in the game, Luka even started to bleed. Luckily, it wasn't too serious, and Doncic was able to continue his historic night, converting on tough shot after tough shot. Whew. Check out this one. It's a taco fall? Night? What the fuck? Converting on tough shot after tough shot. Nah. Check out taco this fall. one. His How last name's fall, fall, though. He Look at that a shot. He a total of 47 points, and ultimately, Slovenia came out on oh top God. with a six-point victory. Now, it wasn't just that night, but throughout this summer, and really Luka's entire career so far, including in the NBA, what really sticks out to me is how many of his attempts are very heavily contested. Not just a hand in his face, but a great Bye. deal of contact. Throughout Doncic's revenge tour this summer, Woo! it's been fairly clear that he's been out to prove a point. Back in 2017, Slovenia came in first place, as Goran Dragic won the MVP of the tournament while the younger Luka Doncic served as his Robin. That was five years nice. ago, and Dragic is now 36 years yeah, old. Yeah, Dragic is definitely summer, the he Robin now. that he would now be the Robin to Doncic's Batman. Because of this, Slovenia's offense looks a lot like the Mavericks' offense, almost entirely run through Luka. This is a pretty atypical strategy in European basketball, but it's clearly working for the team. Generally, what you'll see in Europe is a lot of passing and waiting for the best opportunity to score. The player who takes the shot doesn't matter nearly as much as the quality of the shot. So the way that Luka's been going about getting his buckets sometimes doesn't really even look right in a European setting. What the For fuck? most players, the sort of shots that he takes you wouldn't really consider a good opportunity. If any other player were to take those same shots, they'd probably be seen as bad attempts. But for Luka, Jesus. we're just used to him scoring regardless of how contested he is. It's just impressive because this shit isn't in Europe right now. Like, this is European basketball. Like, he does this shit on the Mavericks all the time, right? But like Trees is saying, they don't, they don't play like that, bro. But Slovenia's like, yo, we're going to turn the tides a little bit, you know. Luka, do your Luka magic shit. We'll just help you out. Like, it's crazy now, he can I'm not talking just have that star like power. These. That's some crazy stuff. But his step back threes and even shots in the paint are rarely ever open. He just finds a way to make them high quality shots. So work I ethic, thought, man. is there any way that I could prove this? Well, I looked at the top five scoring point guards in the NBA right now to try and determine how many of their shots are okay. wide open and compare that to Luka. So last season in the NBA, the top five points per game leaders for the point guard position were Darius Garland, De'Aaron Fox, Fuck it. Steph who was it? Film degrees at full sale. That's like Darren the Fox, really? So, hold on, hold on, before I begin. Darius Garland is a fucking bucket. If you all want me to react to some Darius Garland videos, I'm here for it. Let me know. Darius Garland is such a fucking bucket. He's probably my favorite point guard in the league, besides Luka. Anyways. Trey Young and Luka Doncic. NBA.com classifies okay. a wide open shot as one where the shooter has at least six feet of space. Damn. For these five players, Six here's feet. how often each of their field goals are classified as a wide open shot. Now, as you can see, the only player who even comes close to Luka here is De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox and ain't like that. For that. Other than Fox, Darius Garland shoots the least amount of threes per game at 6.7. Fox only takes 4.2 threes per game. Naturally, the closer to the rim that your shots are, the more likely you are oh, to be that's contested. True. Okay, that's that makes why the sense. players who have the smallest share of wide open shots are all big men, 
who tend uh, to shoot more inside. Just like sense. De'Aaron Fox. Curry, Garland, Young, and Doncic all shoot a considerable amount of threes per game. And somehow, Curry's Luka was is in his own category of difficult shot taking. So the fact that he's been such an efficient player throughout his NBA and international career is truly spectacular. Oh my god, the step and If back. it weren't for Luka this summer, it's pretty difficult to imagine that a little country of 2 million people would be able to compete with global powerhouses such as France, Germany, Let's Spain, go. and the rest of them. Bro, I'm going Having to visit Slovenia, I promise. Having shots that Luka takes as something will, to rely on every there possession in the and next five a years. decent chance at scoring is something that I don't think another country in Europe right now really has. And so I was going through the clips of Luka this summer, and I had a few other things stand out at me which made me wonder what he could potentially carry on to the next NBA season. The one thing that everybody is kind of hoping that this summer would do for him is help him lose weight for the following season. Bye. Last year could have been an MVP skinny Luca. for Luka had he come in prepared. Don't get skinny Luka angry, man. Don't get this man angry. He said Giannis is going to be the best player in FIBA or whatever. Then he dropped 47 right after. Nah, man. Nah, man. Giannis is my favorite player, but Luca, man, you gotta give yourself some credit. Prepared. Reports came out in December of last year that he weighed hey. 260 pounds. Generally, he's around 230. No way. This is something that not only did Luca not deny, but he admitted to it. So throughout the Mavs' first 32 wow. games, they were under 500 at 15 and 17. It was after that stretch when Luca finally got back to normal weight. And then, <gasps> of the final 50 games, the Mavericks only lost 13 times. Crazy. If Doncic can come into the next season in great shape, he's going to win the MVP of the league. I'm telling you that right now. Actually, to make it clear how important conditioning and stamina is for Luka, if you look at his points per quarter, the second and fourth periods are on average his worst in terms of scoring. Mm. When he's fully rested in the first and third quarters, he's an MVP player. Intriguing. Even if you adjust those scoring numbers for minutes, you get the same result. Luca is at his worst after playing for long stretches. That's insane. So hopefully you understand that while the footage itself so we really need so skinny Luca. Stamina is a huge factor for Luca's productivity. Intriguing. So the question is, what shape is Luca in right now, and will he remain in that shape after EuroBasket is over? Well, if he is in good shape right now, then the answer to the second question will be yes. And the reason I know that is because EuroBasket ends on the 18th of September. And Shit, training that's coming up. The NBA what day is, is it? set to start late this month, the meaning tenth? he'd only have a few days to gain significant weight. Bye. So how can we know what shape Ooh. Luka is in right now? Unfortunately, we don't have his current playing weight, and that picture of him that went viral earlier this summer doesn't seem to match quite how he looks like right now. So all that we have is the footage to analyze if he looks any more explosive. Now, for the most part, Luka's scoring has kind of just been the same. To be clear, even if he is skinnier, I don't think that will really change. I'm only looking for little bursts of speed or leaping to see if he's in better condition than last season. And let's just say, I got good news. Now, blow buys haven't been too common, and even when they have happened, his speed doesn't look that much better. However, where you really start to notice Luka's improved body on display is the way that he explodes to the basket. Hey, now, back in this dude is really analyzing this shit. Okay, Doncic okay, Therese. Years old. Then he weighed about 218 pounds. He was at the time he was extremely then. dunk happy. He wasn't a terrific leaper, but he was absolutely still explosive. Those two things can be true at the same time. Because he was Damn, in better condition, he had more energy to throw down oh my dunks. God. And this is why I think in 2022 he's lost a significant amount of weight. Throughout the 12 games he's played in this summer, from the qualifiers to the Eurobasket to even Bro, some friendlies, he has the he's same thrown dunk down package. six dunks. That's one dunk for every other game. Last NBA regular season, he dunked the ball seven times in 65 matches. And as you can seven, see, that's it. Luca has dunked the ball what? less every season that he's played in. The reason is Holy he's shit. gaining weight every year. The heavier he is, the Fat less Luca he does not want to dunk. That's why he's been dunking the ball a lot this summer. He has more energy to okay. do Okay. And in a lot of these... Damn, so... In like 10 FIBA games, he has 6 dunks. Compared to 65 games from last season, he had 7. That's kind of... <laughs> skinny Luka, um, so man. You can really see the it's, He can really come, come different. Out. And by the way, I'm seeing more explosiveness in general in his drives. 
He's getting a ton of hang time, even if it's oh not a dunk. He is getting hang and, time. And that's cases, facts. He's choosing to go over the. I defender. noticed that. Instead like that. That's the exact play I was thinking about. Again, I don't really literally. Care that's the exact who play. Dunks the ball more. I'm only excited because it means that he has more energy and stamina Good. in games. And assuming that, that means he's happier. That means he's got more discipline and working harder. And that means he's having more fun with the game because he has more energy. I mean, Luca, skinny Luca, could be a fucking force to be reckoned with. Goran Dragic just said that he's from outer space and that he, by the end of his career, is going to be the. He actually said that he's the best player now, Luca, and then he said he's going to be the, by the end of his career, he's going to be the best player of all time, which is crazy. But I mean, if Luca really does stay in good shape for his career, I mean, damn. Think about what he was doing last season. Fat Luca. Fat Luca was dropping almost 30 points a game, 8 rebounds, 8 assists, first first team all NBA, conference finals, average of the most points in playoffs and still has like this highest overall average. That Luca has learned anything from gaining too much weight from the way he played. In stays early healthy. Months stays of the last regular season with the Mavericks. He stays gonna fit. Stay like this, and if he does, he's absolutely my pick for the 2023 NBA MVP. Damn. But tell me if you think Luka Possible. Doncic looks more athletic, and in general, what are your impressions? I'd say of his he does, but not like summer? that much, though. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have a blessed day, everybody, and I'll catch you all in the next one. All right, Trees. It was his W video for Therese right there. Um, Luca, I don't think he's like in the best shape he can be in. If he lost, like, I don't even know. I can't. I'm not a fucking doctor. But maybe if he lost five to ten more pounds and really just maintained like a good physique, not physique, but good just overall fitness where he can play a full game without dragging in the second and fourth quarters. And he can start throwing down a little bit more, or at least being more explosive. He's MVP. Let's be honest here. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you like the video, subscribe.